So when you, when we talk of dream, what is it that you dream of? I'm I'm sure a lot your army of fans would want to know about. Uh, I dream really that um, I can uh, be as successful as I am a star. I can be as successful as you know in in the next phase of my life, like uh, the family and a, you know wife or mother, because uh, it's always been about me. You know, Samantha's star work was very self centric. You know, my entire world was very self centric. It didn't really have much room for other people and other responsibilities. I was only responsible to myself. So I I fear that you know it's difficult when you live such a self centric life to actually how how good will I be at giving at at you know looking after at looking after somebody else and not just a child a husband or you know. So I, I I do worry if I can transition well into that phase. So I dream about being as successful in that phase too. <laughs> <laughs> right. So uh, Samantha, you have like a huge number of fans as, uh, who who come to your rescue every time for everything. Uh, so do you uh, get that uh, optimism from them, or is it the other way around? Very, very much. Your yeah. optimism rubs on them. I think it works both ways. I think. Um, well, uh, I'm a very simple person. What you see is what you get. Um, you know, I, I uh, can't really be anybody else but myself. Like I can't put on a facade. I can't um, act after 6 p.m. after call, after pack up. So there is a, a genuine connect that I have with a large number of people. Like my only access is right now Twitter. And um, I trust them. I mean, these people are, are not on some Samantha is the best, Samantha is amazing uh, trip. They are uh, when I when I when they don't like something, they point it out. They are not scared of me in any way. So I respect them a lot, uh, and I value their judgment. I believe that what they're telling me is true. Uh, so they give me immense strength. Um, I, I am in touch with many of them even on the phone and SMSs. So I think that it works both ways. Uh, I, I'm really happy that I have a good influence in their life and they have a tremendous influence in mine. Right. So, uh, Samantha, off late, a lot of discussions are around the way you look, uh, be it films or events. Uh, so, is 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 it um, dreadful, you know, to look to look good constantly each time? So, does it's scary? It's it's, it's really really scary, uh, especially in the initial phases of my career. You know, um, I just uh, I didn't look like the other girls. Uh, you know, I didn't. I was not as tall as the other girls. I was not as pretty as the other girls. I was not as fair as the other girls. So it, it I, I took a beating. You know, because I, I it took a beating of like self-loathing. Uh, like why am I here? Why am I? You know, I, I can't compete with these uh, girls. You know, I'm not good enough. Uh, so it went through very bad phase where a lot of people need physically coming and pulling me out of that uh, phase. So I'm extremely, extremely happy to be here. And um, now I, 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 I finally got it that it's okay to not be perfect. It's okay. It's okay to look uh, like 90% of the women. You know, I, I, I am the majority, I, you know. So I'm proud. I am the majority. Uh, a lot of women on the road they look like i look like any of them i am the majority i don't why should i want to look like that 10 percent of the population who are unrealistically you know beautiful and plastic so i finally got to a space where i'm okay with being the majority i'm okay with representing 99 90 to even 95 percent of uh, the female population of india mm -hmm. so i'm proud to be where i am Right, so you you are now called a fashionista, right? Um, you started off that trend of actually uh, fashion, in, at least when it came to South Indian uh, cinema context. So, uh, did that put a lot of pressure on you initially? Ah, oh, yeah. So you had. <laughs> and, uh, I blame Yirja for that. She got me into this damn thing, and now I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> like it's so much pressure. All I want to do is like you know go to events like this. This is how I dress on a normal basis. I want to go to events like this. 
but he is just like no you have to do the hair you have to do the makeup you have to wear the clothes the uncomfortable clothes the uncomfortable <laughs> heels i'm really tired i really want to go in jeans and t-shirts to events <laughs> and i think that the way she's pushing me i'm going to head there i'm going to go in jeans t-shirt and washed face <laughs> to events very soon but we do enjoy playing dress up i think that um, you know which girl doesn't like playing dress up so again we appeal to a lot of girls you know i think that uh, a lot of a lot of people have been following fashion now shoes and clothes and play and, and looking way more presentable than um, than they used to so i'm glad girls are having fun and we're just having fun right coming to talk about your films at the audio launch of brahmotswam you actually said that uh, you're very conscious when you stand when you stand next to mahesh babu uh, so why are you really serious about oh yeah what you he, said he's he's one of the most good looking actors we have in india and um, he he can look good in anything in fact he looks best in just a normal cotton t-shirt and uh, jeans you know he doesn't even have to try anything he he just looks so good in even the simplest attires and um well yeah it's it's that added thing you know whether you you need to look presentable you need to look presentable as well with him and thank god for a really good dop in ramotsam that he took care of half the problems <laughs> <laughs> so you worked with uh, all the top uh, stars mahesh babu ntr pavan kalyan so what is it that you've learned from them in the process oh um said that working with superstars is way more easy than working with you know the the next the next uh, bunch because these guys are so secure of their position by these guys i mean like you know uh, like mahesh babu pawan kalyan uh, surya um, they junior ntr they are very secure and very uh, again what you see is what you get you know that what what you're talking to them is what they are you don't have to like uh, you know wonder to read too much between the lines you don't have to try to read between the lines what you see is what you get and it's very e- i find it very easy uh, dealing with those kind of people you know it's very easy to go to work to and when you know uh, the person you're working with yeah. uh, and they all have been truly inspiring in many many different ways to me um like mahesh uh, can he is at the top of his game and even if the director says um, superb amazing he'll say one more you know no let me just do this one more so even for the smallest shot and i think he doesn't even have to he he, he but he does it you know and so th- those days when i feel tired i'm like enough I look at these people and even at this position they want to push harder so uh, you know these things inspire me at mm. work and uh well, Pawan Kalyan he's an amazing person uh like you know you people would be so shocked uh, to know how he is in real life you know because you know he might be Pawan Kalyan power star but well Do you know that uh, in in Switzerland when we were shooting, I've never said this before. I think uh, in Switzerland when we were shooting, and he has, he he's he's shy of crowds. Now what can I say? He's always in the middle of some five thousand, six thousand people. But he's really shy, like you know, of shooting when there are crowds there, and and so like in Switzerland we were shooting a song. and um, there were you know tourists and stuff like that and he was so shy and he's like no you don't put the step let me walk <laughs> and then he wouldn't come out of his van and then trivikram had to go and say you just come you do you, you do it no you see you know how it is like are you sure <laughs> it, it, it's like you know just watch and then i was laughing and I, you are power stand like I, this is exactly there was cajoling there was like um no it's so you can do it you said like really i can do it really <laughs> <laughs> so after that i called him papa garu <laughs> so his 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 pet name is papa garu papa garu randi please tell me em parle the em parle the boss so um it's he's so blissfully unaware of 
uh, you know that he, of his craze and of his power over influence over people he's he's very normal uh, and he's a very good person too so these things inspire me as well um, surya has uh, his just determination and his hard work you know i i he has told me like you know initially he was ridiculed uh, initially uh, uh, he had a lot of criticism from what industry outside that you know he might not be a good act a good actor but look at what he has done now i don't think anybody in india can play atriya mani and shivakumar uh, like he did in uh, 24 so it's just like grit determination Uh, and again he is completely unaware of his effect on women of his good looks uh, he completely unaware he's like yeah really really you think so <laughs> so uh, i i think that you know the moment you uh, think that you're a superstar and that i think that's when it goes south so these people all have their hearts in the right place junior ntr i find zero difference of uh, um, i worked in, with him in brindavanam which was 6 years back to now in janata garage this person is exactly the same there has been no change whatsoever what uh, even in the slightest i know how he will react to things uh, hits flops marriage baby um, the outside world he he has not changed for